All right, guys, so me and Tony just found out. Um, so I ordered this truck with a spare switch on purpose for my overinflate valve that I wanted to do. So as you can hear, we just found it on the firewall. So from the factory, they pre-plumbed it for me to do whatever I wanted with it on the firewall. So you come over here. Um, the factory pre-plums a few things. So I got this pre-plumbed, that pre-plumbed. Um, they have a couple things in here that are already ready to go for you uh, for whatever you want to do. But this is where my overinflate valve will be. So we're going to just plug in here, run the wiring in the factory harness, and send it all the way to the back. And uh, so by a flip of the switch, I'll be able to bring this suspension. Um, I'm probably going to be able to get, up to, to me, I'm going to say probably four inches out of the suspension here and that'll give me a lot of travel and uh clearance on the uh on the tank so right now it's actually higher than it's supposed to be that's not ride height ride height is usually so you can see it's going down see that's way higher than ride height usually is but even that would help me out in certain situations because uh going down the road my fenders are not that that high up they're they're usually pretty close together um on that tire so what i'm talking about is the gap so my fenders don't have this much gap uh my fenders are usually almost tucking you know way down here but anyways <clears throat> just being able to bring this rear suspension up is going to help me a lot with uh, going in and out of different driveways and stuff like that. So, yep. All right, guys, this is the goal. Um, this is completely maxed out on the bags, uh, as high as it'll go. Uh, good point of reference is look at those half fenders. Um, very good point of reference. I don't even have the front bags aired up all the way either. Um, so we got a, a lot of clearance to be able to be that low and to be able to be this high that is what you want so let me show you let's air up the front end not a lot of air in there i still got a couple psi to go but look at how high we are now some of you guys that run 24 fives looking at this like oh it's that's not that high but to me this thing i will be able to get in and out of anything now that i'm that high <laughs> tony saying hi to the camera the, the proper way <laughs> anyways jank there but it's all right mm -hmm. used parts used parts you used parts out no of the way. pile here no way <laughs> fuck it I, I can put them back no 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 no, no. <laughs> that's, the, the, right. that's gold that, that's gold right there that's that's, that's right that, that's, that's that's gold right All right, guys, we're all done. Over inflate valve is installed. I am up right now, as high as it will go. Uh, actually, I got the front end at ride height, so it's only got about 50 pounds of air pressure in the front end. But as you can see, uh, I mean, that's more than enough. Um, for all these places that I go into, that's gonna help out a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm super happy right now. So like I said, guys, all this is, is a, is a rod. And I took my stock, um, stock rod, cut it. We measured the length from bottom to top. And um, all we did was put an air fitting down at the bottom and then we welded my stock rod at the very bottom 
uh, at the you know same length and all this is is an, is an air uh, switch that when it sees air it extends and when it doesn't it, it closes so I'm gonna show you guys right now I'm gonna close it up for you and see where we uh, where we end up let me let me lower this Let's lower the hood for you guys just so you guys can get a, a better idea okay so I'm, I'm not even all the way up on the front end you know the front end isn't even all the way up but let, you know what let's put it all the way up let's put it up let's see how high we can actually get okay that's about as high as I can go this thing's a damn monster truck now. Yeah, that's going to help out a lot. It's going to help out tremendously. All right, so let's uh, let's bring it back down, and I'm going to show you guys that rod. Bring the front end back down. with the switch. And you see it collapse when it doesn't see air. So now it's gonna bring it back to ride height. much a foot right right at 12 eight and a quarter to right at 12 so what is that four or four inches four inches I mean that's that's what I said in the beginning <laughs> 